Hello guys, welcome back for the Roblox Wild West video and in for today's video, I'm going to do a guide for those who are new and for those who just started this game. So basically, we're going to split into different parts of the game. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, when you join the game, basically, you're going to spawn at Bronze City. You don't have to spawn anywhere else but the main city because it's the main city and this is where you get your equipment now we're going to focus on the equipment that you need at the beginning now at the beginning you only have one thousand dollars and a peacekeeper revolver now if you don't know and you're still planning to play the wild west the peacekeeper revolver is basically this gun now this gun is really decent 25 damage on the body 50 on the head and so on so in the beginning you have one thousand dollars now what will you do with the one thousand dollars should i buy an expensive weapon and waste everything on that single item well basically my answer is no go to the very first establishment that you will see which is this green building right here it's very hard to miss this because literally it's big and you might think where is it but it's really here so we just enter this and the things that you're going to need at this guide is basically the specials you go for the stabby knife you go for the lasso and you go for the campfire now why do i want a campfire um, you need a campfire because the campfire will increase value of the meat now in the game there is in-game meat they sell fifty dollars but if you cook them they will sell 75 i know it's peculiar but that's how the game works now you just buy those equipments now i know you still have some items so i mean some money now about the quick money making now i'm going to tell you how to make quick money as a beginner now the only way no other way of making quick money because you're just gonna hunt there that's quick money for you no it's not you're a beginner and you only have a peacekeeper revolver now basically the next thing you need is at the guns and ammo now if you still have money after buying those items and i i think you still have basically you're going to buy a dynamite now why a dynamite you ask we're going to do some explosion now the explosion stuff that I'm talking about is at Bronze City Bank. Now, I know robbery isn't your thing, some of you, but need to rob. Okay? As you can see, our friend is giving us a tip. You're going to go in small servers. Now, how do you go in small servers? Use Roblox Plus or join your friend in a game where it's only like three to four players or one player only. So you can grind peacefully. So no one's gonna stop you because if you grind in a big server you're basically joking yourself and that's ridiculous so just place the bomb right there at the vault also for the most beginners please take everything okay some of you only rob one of these deposits okay rob everything like one two three four rob all four to get 300 cash next you steal all of these gold some of you okay that i see when i go in game only steals two gold or one gold and then this runs away take everything you see then you run now i know you still don't have a horse but that doesn't matter because the mule is kind of just faster than the normal avatar running now where should you go at the small server now you're going to go to this bridge and basically i'm just going to show you um this is going to be quick you go to this bridge you go to the railroads and yeah it's just very close to the bank you swim here you swim all right you swim right here you see the trees you go right here just focus on the guide never ever try to goof around and explore you'll explore later all right you run right here you see that bridge right there that means you're very close to the hideout and also stop pulling any weapons i know some of you are very alert that's pretty nice but don't pull some weapons 
and yeah you get 300 and then if you sell all the gold you get 800 as of this video I'm in my VIP server it doesn't give anything so yes that's a shame now after going to those back and forth now next the equipment that you need what is the equipment that you need in the game the equipment that you need in the game are very very basic you go to the buy or the gun shop wherever gun shop now the items you need is the sharps rifle okay I'll explain everything in just a second so the sharps rifle which is 4500 is pretty easy to get just grind or rob the bank about four times next the sidearm the navy revolver three thousand two hundred dollars everything here is basically easy to get just rob the bank a lot of times next the lima revolver okay you, you need these weapons stop scrolling down here and thinking about i want this um nine thousand revolver well basically you need more experience to buy this okay before you actually use it for now you go for navy lee mat and the rifle sharps now why these weapons you ask me now i'm going to explain you why these weapons now for the sharps rifle this is one shot on each people's head 150 on the head 75 damage on the body as you may see i'm going to show you how powerful this rifle is see one shot on the body and 75 on yeah 75 on the body and 150 on the head i'm sorry about that but I kind of miscalculated stuff so yeah 150 on the head and 75 on the body now our friend will rejoin again to see what will be the body as you see it is 75 all right our friend will just reset and real quick now next uh basically the navy revolver why will you buy the navy now during before the update the navy revolver is the most trusted sidearm as you can see it is good fire rate and also good reload speed and as you can see at the status it has 35 damage and good fall of damage this is basically a medium range weapon and as we can see we can we're going to test it on our friend right here so basically if you're close to the enemy like in medium range 70 on the head and 35 on the body you see how powerful this gun is next we have the lee mat now the lee mat um, some of you might just use this like this. So, the Limat is actually a short range weapon. Trying to aim like this requires a lot of practice. Okay, this weapon is inaccurate, but may, may, many of you might say, why did you let us buy this weapon? Well, this weapon is pretty OP. Okay, I'm going to show you how OP this is. As you can see, just fan the hammer, hold F, and aim, and then fire many rounds as you can. So you can see, fast fire. Yeah, that's how fast it is. Now, after getting this equipment, we're going to transform. Okay, what do I mean by transform? Okay, instead of grinding, instead of um, grinding using the bank, well, you already have a sharps rifle and I told you to buy a campfire and a tent. Now, why these things, you say? Well, the things I told you is pretty useful at the end because these are hunting weapons and also decent at PvP. Now, there's a lot of places in the map where you can kill animals and... Um, get their in-game meat, okay? So basically, Pinewood Hills is good for bears. Bearpaw Valley is good for bears. Travel Forest is good for bears. But one thing that I can tell you is where to grind is located nearby bronze. Now, maybe some of you out there is going to disagree. 
that instead of hunting there, why not hunt the bears? Well, if you're a new player, you're still not yet experienced, okay? What you're gonna do is just hunt first at the Great Plains. The Great Plains is filled with bisons. Now, the bisons give $80 if you get their pelt, $75 if you cook their meat. So basically, I'm going to show you right now um, the power of the Sharps rifle. Basically, you go off your horse, shoot one of these. Now, if you're a new player, you gotta set up the, the tent, I mean, yes, you set up these items that you need. Actually, a tent is, um, it's your choice. But for me, if you are still new and there's a risk of you getting um, hit by one of the bisons, this is a recovery pace because literally if you press E, you'll get um, regenerative process in here. And also you can stand on top of it so the bison cannot get you. So yes. This is basically a heal pool and a cook station where you can cook the meat of the bison. Well, this is where stuff goes. Now, also, you must grind, okay, disclaimer, you must grind in a small server. Never ever grind at the big server. There's a risk of you getting killed by one of these forts. Now, this fort is armed and ready to kill you, so be careful with those forts. So basically just grind peacefully at these things. Now after hunting, okay, basically your first goal is to get 10k. Why 10k you ask? Well basically if we reset my character and we go to Callahan Manor, why are we going here at this haunted mansion? Well, basically the good horses are sold at this place. The good horses are here at the stable icon right here this guy actually sells those horses now as the choices of your horses you're still a beginner never ever buy this don't buy that don't buy that and buy this one do not buy this one okay now why why daily american standard bread has good health according to you well health doesn't mean anything your horse can just get one shotted by a gun in the head and this one can also get one shotted in the head but this one on the other hand is speed okay speed and acceleration and efficiency is very important in the game so you need this mustang horse now after accumulating all those stuff okay basically you completed the basic things you already have this gun you have this gun and you have this gun you got stabby knife you have a lasso you have this and yeah you have a campfire you have a 10k horse you're you're already good to go in the next phase of your journey now the next phase in your journey is the mid the mid game basically it's not at the end game because literally this game has no ending it doesn't have a storyline so let's just call it the mid game so basically the mid game what should you get when you're in mid game now in the mid game you must improve your fighting okay you must improve your fighting with your weapons use tactics against your enemy because as a beginner i know some of you will just aim and shoot like this some of you just aim and shoot like this now if you are now a you got out of your face on the basic you might as well just learn some pv techniques from other people something like that now anyways the things that you're going to need for the mid game is basically the fighting weapons now these are also fighting weapons but they are the basics and they're basically double purpose they can defend you and also hunt animals okay Basically, these weapons will be then discarded or will be exchanged with new ones. Now, the next weapons, okay. The next weapon you're going to get at this new update, you should get the Colt Revolving, the Lindsay, and double action, I mean the Hammerless, the Lindsay, Colt. These new three guns are free. These guns actually deal damage as we can see here. We could duel this person, right? These weapons deal damage, as you can see. Now, you don't need 
a pretty good aim with it that's why it's a defensive weapon you can defend yourself from you people using spitfire the spitfire for those players who just gonna go to play roblox wild west this is an auction weapon so yeah this is free in the gun shop next we have the lindsay which is uh i mean the hammerless 26 and 47 on the head which is pretty good now you might say the navy is better than this well no the navy as you can see you can shoot backwards but there's a bit of a delay on it and the accuracy of the navy is not that good unlike the hammerless as you can see it's much accurate fire velocity is faster you can shoot backwards with it the ship shooting right like this yes this is a better weapon than the navy but less damage it depends on the user next the lindsay now the lindsay we're going to test it their friend okay 30 in the body and 54 in the head it depends on the range now this weapon some people are actually arguing about this this weapon is not good this weapon is actually known as the combo weapon the combo weapon because it is actually pretty fast pulling out your holster which you can pull faster on your weapons that's why it's a combo weapon now next set of weapons is the winchester now why the winchester the winchester can test it or a friend 35 damage okay and if i headshot him 70 damage as you can see this weapon is pretty accurate. As he has eight rounds for those who are still practicing their aim you should have this as a pvp -er, just a beginning pvp -er. next we have the godly links okay most um sweat people or let's say uh him try hard according to some people but those people who already uh master the skill of uh, aiming this is the good thing the links. now the links is basically powerful than its um other competition which is the winchester because it deals 40 damage 40 damage on the body right 40 damage on the body and 80 on the head now you can see yes 80 on the head now as for the reload speed it's just 2.9 seconds so yeah pretty pretty decent weapon that's the weapons you should get when you're ready in the mid game now for the equipment what equipment should you have now the equipment you should have is a tier 3 axe and now you're gonna have to say away or say goodbye to knife you're gonna welcome bowie knife now bo the bowie knife okay the bowie knife is not in the general store we're going to go in a special store located somewhere now this somewhere is a tribal village now if you're new at the tribal village basically it's kind of still spooky and there's a lot of green leaves everywhere so yeah just be careful on the bears and you'll be fine there's nothing gonna creep you out there's no wendigos it's still it's still july as of the moment so yeah there's no stuff creeping creeping you out so the bowie knife is purchased at the tribal shack right here you can buy these items um, right here you go to specials um you'll see more stuff now do not get tempted to buy these bows okay no don't get tempted with the bows okay just buy the bowie knife bowie knife is 4000 deals excellent damage in melee fights okay i believe it can tree shot someone or tree stab someone and basically the someone will die it's pretty nerfed and we also have this weapon um, this is also a weapon of choice this is called the axe why you have to buy the tier 3 basically at this point if you have a tier 3 more thunder logs are going to strike okay thunder logs you need this thing so you can cut them off okay just don't just don't buy tier 2 axes just go for tier 3 now as for this weapon it can be a weapon because um good reach as well but 
you're gonna have to practice and master the skill of the axe before you actually practice it now the axe is 9,000 okay 9,000 the axe tier 3 is 9,000 and the other one that you need to buy let's go back to the outlaw the other items um, that you need to buy on the, li on the list so we have bowie knife you need to buy that tier 3 axe as we can see right here in the axe right here next is the pickaxe tier 6 pickaxe okay just buy these items in the game now maybe one of you saying i'm not gonna buy the pickaxes i'm not a you know a miner actually you need to have those items because in the future there will be more stuff to come like the new cave okay there will be a cave right here nearby bronze maybe something's up there and next time you might be able to smelt the ores so you need a pretty good um, pickaxe so yeah basically that's the mid game now as for the people um that's gonna say what weapon should i buy on the auction house what item should i buy in the auction house here we go people are actually asking these questions all over again and the only things that people mostly answer is patterson navy okay patterson navy or the lancaster according to some people yes you are pretty right these weapons are pretty overpowered but some of you are missing something all right so basically we're still gonna show you where is this auction house also this is also a double guide because this is also a guide how to go to howling so basically if you look at the map it's already there howling peak just climb up this mountain never mind that temple just go up here and it's horizon now i cannot spawn there because i'm wanted so i need to travel right here we see howling peak now you will you will hear sounds for the first time now these sounds are pretty loud and kind of let's say kind of annoying for my ears but maybe some of you thinks it's music so we're right here um name can you sit down on the piano thank you that's kind of noisy but anyways um this is the auction house this is how you bid just place the bid and overbid somewhat now now the the value of this weapon which is the prototype pistol i have it on my um inventory now why is the prototype pistol the one you commended you're very different daily well the pistol on the other hand this pistol is basically very good as you can see 28 damage and it's a fast firing automatic pistol now i know you all want the patterson patterson is basically every single person's dream because it's a good weapon it's a weapon of gunslingers but this swarzleville is a whole new different story now i'm going to put back my volume up because the loudness of the music right now here this is the swarzleville or the prototype pistol now it is a fast firing and pretty powerful if you learned how to use it now most players say that you should grind for this weapon but for me you should grind for the swarzloose pistol or the prototype i'm not tricking you this pistol is one of the cheapest cheapest okay one of the cheap pistols that you can buy on the auction house well the most cheapest pistol is the guy caught pistol but the guy caught is not that essential in battle and the next cheap weapon is the guy caught chain carbine and then the next on the list on the cheap list is this one which is only cost around 150,000 to 185 now please do not be let's say do not be stupid on bidding 250,000 on this weapon because this weapon's value is only 185 so stop overbidding and use your coconuts so basically this weapon why am i talking about it you're not even showing us well look as you can see we're going to demonstrate um you can also fight me name if you want You can see it's pretty good. Oh yeah. 
Right? You reload fast reload speed. Right? You can see. Yeah, it's good for strafe. And look, you can you can basically wait, I'm gonna shoot you in the head. 63. Okay, 63 damage on the head. 28. Now the Patterson I know you want 80 damage on the head. It is basically a lynx bought a pistol. Yeah, this one the prototype is pretty dumb pretty good, okay? Because look, eight bullets, good accuracy, good velocity speed, can be shoot backwards. Okay, this is called um, ship shooting. So yeah, you do this, shift, and then aim, fire, and do that. It's pretty powerful, okay? Reload speed is pretty good as well. You can see a reload, and that's how it is. That's why this weapon is slightly, according to some, is slightly better than the Patterson. Because seriously, if you have good aim, and this reload speed is very good. But yeah, you should go get... The first auction gun you should get is this one. Not the guy caught... Okay, not the guy caught set. Okay, you can get that. But for PvP and for defense, you should get the Swarge Loose. Now, that's it. Okay, those are all the guides. And basically, that's it all for the video. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Basically, that's it. That's all for this Wild West Guide 2021, the new Wild West. So basically, that's it. And we'll see you guys on the next video.